I first started thinking about space as a very young age. I remember in grade school designing uh, space stations. And when I say designing space stations, I was just drawing my own ideas. And I remember someone telling me, that won't work in space. I was like, well, why not? And they said, well, there's no electricity in space. There are many things that have held back space exploration. One of them, of course, is power and propulsion. EVO's quantum drive eliminates this propulsion problem by eliminating the fuel. By taking away the fuel, if that's no longer a necessity, then you have essentially unlimited delta V. EVO's quantum drive allows you to continuously propel or alter the course of your satellite probe space station. That one does use a fraction of the amount of electricity, but it doesn't require fuel. It's amazing because you think, okay, that's enough, right? Um, and then it turns out we can reverse the thrust, which is like almost unheard of. You can actually use it for braking. Uh, so you're not only moving something in a certain direction, but then you can actually stop it. So you can speed up, slow down, and it's throttleable, so you can control it. Evo is more than just an idea. It is a new paradigm in space propulsion. They have tested and demonstrated this on the ground in thermal vacuum chambers and proven that it works on the ground. The last step before everyone accepts it will be the on-orbit demonstration, and then all the gates will be open. We are doing something that no one has ever done before. We are sending the EVO Quantum Drive to space aboard SpaceX Transporter 8 with our partners, Rogue Space Systems, in June. We have tried to prove that this technology does not work. And the conclusion is, it does work. One of the first things I asked was, have you tested it? What data do you have that tells me this? Because I always will put data over theory. So I found out that they had actually done some testing in a laboratory to measure the forces. And so I said, well, if it's generating force, it must be pretty real. So then the question became, have you tested it in the right environments? We have done extensive testing on Earth to the point that other professionals that have looked at our testing setup observed EVO's quantum drive in a test environment. They have come to the conclusion that the only thing left is space. There is nothing else that they can critique concerning our test setups here. We have thus been able to eliminate false positives such as ion wind, heat convection, Earth's magnetic uh, fields, interaction with metallic structures. Many individuals and companies have talked about theory in the past. Some have even got to the part of prototypes or cool models to showcase to other individuals or for research papers, magazine articles, but we're building actual products. Our product is actually going to space. In June, EVO's quantum drive will be in space and we'll be able to physically demonstrate in the space environment and will no longer be tied to just Earth-based theories, speculations, and conjectures. EVO's technology is groundbreaking. And that's because we are able to put a product in outer space that nobody has ever done before. I think going into space is the future. It's where people are going to spend a lot more time. I think even defense industries for different countries are going to find more and more of their apparatus in outer space. This revolutionary propulsion will not only enable space and who's in it now, but it will bring out new players with new ideas to utilize space and bring mankind even further ahead than it already is. 